Tonight, Act 1, Scene 1, Elsinore, a platform before the castle. The Norse prince, Don Fortinross, has been fighting to recapture territories in Denmark, and the Danish castle at Elsinore is nervously guarded around the clock by men who twice witness a strange apparition, a ghost, seemingly in the guise of the late King Hamlet, whose son, young Hamlet, has recently returned from college at Wittenberg to attend his father's funeral. The guards entreat Horatio, a friend of Hamlet's, also back from Wittenberg, to witness and address the ghost who shows up for the third night in a row, almost on cue. Just as Horatio's urging seemed to have coaxed the ghost into speaking, signs of the approaching dawn drive it away. Act 1, Scene 2, Within <laughs> the States in the Castle. Laertes makes ready to leave for France advising his sister Ophelia to keep her distance from her seeming boyfriend, Prince Hamlet, and the trifling of his favor. For even if Hamlet does indeed love her, as successor to the throne, his choice of mate is subject to political consideration, and she must not open her chaste treasure to his unmastered importunity. <laughs> Act two is mostly about acting and spying. <laughs> a disturbing encounter with Hamlet, who burst in upon her, grasping her by the wrist and staring at her in a kind of a creepy way. <laughs> Hamlet, thinking that he has caught the king amid an act of treachery, stabs Polonius in the arras. <laughs> act 4, in which the actor playing Hamlet gets to catch his breath from the workout of Act 3. <laughs> <laughs> Scene 1. Laertes is angry. <laughs> Act 5, scene 1. <laughs> a churchyard. Take up the bodies. Such a sight as this becomes the field. But here shows much amiss. 